Hey guys, it's your favorite crafter Shondell and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the new Cricut Easy Press Mini to customize a infant, like, oh uh, no, not infant, newborn, a newborn hat with the matching booties. So we're going to customize it with a Halloween design. If you're not following my channel, do so now so you can be updated every time I post a new video. So this is the design we're going for. It's going to be this little ghost here and the bows and boos saying. But the hat that we have have a little bow on it. So we're going to change it this way so that it can go across like the um, banner across the hat. So first I'm going to show you where to get these files. So when you go into design space, you're going to search by the cartridge. So this one here, the name of it is Ghost Wearing a Bow, right here. And this is the name of the cartridge. Happy Halloween Iron-On Design. So now, let me go back because I didn't show you where to find the bows and boos. So the name of it is Bows and Boos, and you're going going to go into Happy Halloween Phrases. So those are the cartridge names, and then you just scroll down. Ours is at the, no, this is Fab Bow Boo. Fab, okay, I'm going crazy. So this is Fab Boo Bows. That's not the one that we chose. So you scroll through, and you just find the one that you like. And even though it's fixed this way, we can um, slice it up so that we change it um, the way that we want it. So that's what I'm doing today because I don't want it this way. I like it this way. So this is the size that I chose, 1.658 by 1.792. I just measured the mitten so it can fit exactly in there. And for this, how we change it to this, we're gonna slice it. So go over here on the left for shapes, get a square. We're going to unlock it and make it into a rectangle shape and make sure it covers right there the word bowls. Highlight all of it, slice, and now that separates the word bowls. You're going to get rid of that. There's two here and get rid of that one. So this is the one we're keeping. And now you have and booze. Put another square because I want to separate those as well and put it over and highlight all and slice it get rid of that get rid of that so now we have all three and you're going to line them up together in a straight line now see this is larger in size and height so I would make it a little bit smaller and put it next to this so now I'm going to change it to the color that I want. Booze, as you can see here, go up here to the color. I want it silver because I'm doing glitter. And I'm changing to gold. Bowls, I'm changing to gold. Now these two obviously are going to cut on the same paper. So you're going to highlight it, just those two, and go to attach down here. That way now, when it goes to mat, it's going to cut just like this together because you attach them to be cut together instead of just um, however design space chooses to lay it out on the mat, it'll be cut together like this. So now, line them up, highlight everything, and change the width to 4 inches because the size of the newborn hat, the little banner that I'm putting it on, is 4 inches. Now, the ghost comes in two colors. You don't have to ungroup it to change the colors. Just go over here, click on it, go over here, and just choose the little ghost. Change the color to what you want. Click on the bow, and whatever, whatever color you choose to do it. See? And that's it. So this is just an example. I don't need it because this is the one I want to cut. So this is the one I'm doing. And I'm going to duplicate this ghost because we have two mittens. And now we're ready to cut it for the hat. So don't forget, save, always save. I had it saved already, so I'm just save to, to save the changes. If you want to save it to a new file, you're going to save as. So I'm just going to save over the changes. 
Then don't forget to choose which um, Cricut you're using, the Maker or one of the Explore family. Today I'm using the Maker. Go to Make It. And remember we're doing iron-on, so you're going to mirror right here the image. Go down here and you're going to mirror the image as well. Hit continue. So it's just looking for my machine. I found it. Then we're going to um, choose the material. I have uh, my most common materials here saved. You can click the little star and it saves it up here as favorite. If not, you go to browse material. And as you know, the maker has a large choice of um, different types of materials you can choose. So you just find what you're using. See, for instance, if I use holographic iron-on often, I would just click that star and that would put it in my um, favorites. So now it's here, see? So I choose glitter iron-on because I'm going to do glitter for both cuts and then send it to the machine and let's put this baby together. So I ended up cutting with purple instead of silver. See, see the ghost? Because I could not find my silver glitter. So. I'm just going to cut the piece off that I need. And that's the piece that the um, design is on. Then we're going to weed it and get it ready to be pressed on. The gold already cut, See, it's mirrored. And when it's mirrored, once you flip it over the right way, it's ready to go on properly. So with weeding, I just bend it, or you could just nick the end here. and just peel it slowly. And the design is there, see? And this design doesn't have any um, little pieces we need to weed out, I don't think. Maybe just in the um, letters. Yeah. Just in between the letters there is just what we have to take out. So you use the weeding tool and just take them out. Okay, so now all of our pieces are cut out. We're going to take out our mini, easy press mini, turn it on and I'm turning it to the highest. Then it's going to heat up while I show you the pieces we're going to use. So I have the Cricut mat and we're going to use the mittens and the hat. First, let's cut the pieces to separate them because this will be on the hat. Sorry. And these two will be the pieces for the little ghosts. So we're going to cut off the piece for the hat as well. And each goes for each mitten. So while we get everything together, let that warm up. I'll just let you know that the Easy Press Mini is the new addition to the Cricut family with all the um, Easy Presses. And it heats up just as powerful as the others. So we're going to line this up. Right here. This is where it's going. And this is where this one goes. So as you can see, this easy press is perfect for your small projects. Because this is a newborn size hat and newborn size mittens. So with the mittens, you're going to put the little ghost here. And then after we uh, press the ghost, then we'll add the bow, which goes actually perfect with these little bows right here. I just love it. Okay, so it's still heating up. Once it's ready, we're gonna take it off. See, it's about 
I believe three inches here and two inches across. And we're ready to go. So now we're gonna do the bows and first. And I usually hold it down for about a minute. And then I'm gonna switch over to the booze. Wait, let me move that so you can see it better. See, so it's lined up where it needs to be. And I'm gonna hold it down on there for about a minute. Once I'm done, I'm gonna move it over to the booze and do the same. Okay, so I held it for about a minute. Let it cool for a few seconds. Then we're going to peel it off. How cute is that? Bows and boos. I swear I love this thing. I'm gonna make mini projects like every day if I can. See how easy that was? Very easy to use. Oh, take the little dust off the little hat. And this is a newborn size hat. So now we're gonna do the same for the mittens. Put the little ghost right here. We hold it down. See how perfect it fits. And then we'll do the same for the other one, then switch over to the bow. Okay, so now they're done. It's time to peel it off. And I'm going to keep this because when I put the little bow on there, we need to cover the ghost again when we have to put the mini easy press on there. So this is our bow. I'll just cut off the excess around the top and line it up within the ghost right there. And then take the same paper just to cover up the ghost again to protect it from the mini press. Oh, let's bring this down a little bit more and then put the larger piece it doesn't matter the direction just cover it and then we go back over it again and I'll hold it there for about another 50 60 seconds and once I'm done this I'll do the same for the other side See this mini easy press? It's going to be my new addiction, seriously. I just gotta find babies to give all of these projects to. All right, so now we're done. Put it back on its base and we're going to peel it off. Look at that. Oh my God. Just be aware that these projects will give you baby fever. And look at that. Have you ever seen a project cuter than that? Jesus, I love it. Okay, so just wanted to lay that out there, show it again, and show you another project that I did just like it. Look at these. How cute are they? Seriously, so cute. 